what's good dp fam it's your girl des p and i am back at it again with another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys me doing my own acrylic nails for the first time ever mind y'all this isn't a tutorial this is just me showing y'all what i did on myself before we get into this video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications to see more videos Hey you guys, so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is pushing back my cuticles. I got this cuticle pusher from my nail supply store, and y'all are just going to see me pushing the cuticles back on all of my nails. I also did clip my cuticles, but I didn't show that in this video. I only clip my own cuticles. I don't do it on my clients, only on me. I don't trust myself enough to do it on my clients just yet. Um, but yeah, I go in and I push my cuticles back, and then after that, I'm going to be going in with my e-file i'm using a fine um drill bit of course i only use fine drill bits on natural nails and i have my e-file on the lowest setting possible because i'm not trying to damage my nails and at the nail salon they be having these things sky high and they be fucking your nails up so yeah i'm using that just to take the shine from my natural nails then i'm gonna use a buffer well it's not a buffer it's a duster i'm gonna use that and dust my nails off and then take my antibacterial cleansing spray you can get this from sally's and i just put this all over my nails just to clean off any dust grease any type of anything that'll be on my nails before i go in and apply my tips so i'm going in now and applying my tips i use these tips from mccart you can get them on amazon and then for my actual um, nail glue i use kds nail glue i get mine from my nail supply store but they also have it on amazon as well so i'm just going in i don't show you guys me sizing the actual nails but i size them first and then i'm just gluing them down and then after um i glue these ones down i'm actually going to be doing double tips so you guys will see right here i'm gonna go in with the same exact same size nail and then i'm going to be sticking that to the tip of the nails just to make the nails longer I know I'm probably going to get some questions about me cutting them after, but I do cut them. Using the double tips, it just helps give me some extra length. So this is what they look like before I cut them. And now I'm just going to be going in and cutting off the excess. So I'm cutting off the excess from the sides, basically just lining up the top nail with the bottom nail. Hopefully that makes sense. And then I'm going to be taking the clippers and just clipping them down to the length that I want. So for these clippers, they're just straight edge nail clippers and I got them from my nail supply store. You can find these on Amazon, you can find them anywhere, but I'm just going in and cutting my nails. Um, like I told you guys, this is not a tutorial, so I am not gonna be doing everything perfect in this video probably. Like I told y'all, this is my first time ever doing my own nails it was a struggle um and also you guys the lighting is going to change throughout this video because right here i forgot that i didn't have my ring light on but yeah y'all so i'm just going in clipping off the excess like i said for my shape um i'm kind of doing like a tapered square but it's a little bit more on the coffin side but it's still tapered square so these are my tips fully applied y'all see i did do double tip and y'all can see the extra length that was added with that extra tip there so now i'm going in and i'm just shaping my nails this nail file is a 100 180 grit file i got these from sally's um but i am going to start switching my files so this is just what i'm using for right now when i originally bought those files i thought it was 100 100 grit but it's actually 100 180 grit so i was just working with what i have but i do feel like those files are like they dull out very easily so be careful if you're gonna buy them but yeah those are my nails applied and shaped now we're gonna go in and prep so i'm using the mia secret nail prep so first i'm going in with the dehydrator and i use one coat of both of these on my natural nails i don't apply it to the tip at all just on my nail um and then i'm just going in and doing one layer of the extra bond the first one was a dehydrator the other one was a bond just so the acrylic will be able to stick now i'm going in with my acrylic y'all this application process is very long because i did a bunch of encapsulated designs a bunch of different types of designs like ombre um marble 
regular encapsulated i have some um glitter nails some butterfly nails i have a lot going on for this set okay i was trying to practice as many designs as i could and i wanted my nails how i wanted my nails so this is what i did um i do want to apologize because during this application process the like what do i call it the angle of this video isn't the best like this is my first time doing a nail video myself so i had to do this on my dslr camera and i probably should have used my tripod but instead i used my ring light and the angle just wasn't there but i promise next time once i do one of these videos or if i do them on my clients the angle will be a lot better and you guys will be able to see all of the product but um i don't really have too much that i want to explain during the application process only because like i said this isn't a tutorial this is just me doing my nails um on this thumb y'all can see i started off doing a marble nail so that's what it's looking like so far and y'all will see what it looks like um i pretty much just showed you guys me applying the acrylic and then i showed you guys what it looks like before i encapsulate and then i went in and i encapsulate so y'all are gonna see that for almost all 10 fingers some fingers aren't in this video because i wasn't able to get them in the frame while i was filming but like i said i know for next time so i'm gonna just let this video play out with the application process and then after that's all finished and we're doing something else i'm gonna come back and explain that you guys so this is how my nails are looking after the application process this is just one hand now i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna do the other hand and we will be right back after that hand is finished <laughs> 
So this is what my nails look like after we're finished up with the application process. I know they look kind of crazy, but we still have to file shape and all of that. So now I'm going in and I'm shaping my nails. This nail file that I'm using is a 180 grit file and I got it from Sally's. However, I did not buy it with the intentions on it being a 180 grit file. The girl told me that it was 100 100, but it wasn't. So I'm just using that because I
that's all that I had, but I would normally would use a 100 100 grit file. So after I went in and I do that, I am going to be spraying some alcohol on my nails just to again clean off any dust or anything from when I went in and I filed my nails. So after I go in and I wipe that off, I'm going to be taking my e-file again. This isn't on the lowest setting. It's a little bit higher than the lowest because it's not on my natural nail, but it's not high at all. Like you could barely hear the e-file making like a whole bunch of noise, but I'm going in with my e-file this drill bit that i'm using i believe is a medium grit drill bit i get all my drill bits from my nail supply store but i'm just going in and using that making sure that the nail is smooth and that there isn't any lumps or bumps within the acrylic this is what my nails are looking like after they've been all shaped and buffed and filed and everything. Now I'm going to go back in with a buffer and just use that over top just to make sure that my nails are extra smooth. I feel like the buffer is just like the finishing touch, but however, you do not have to buff your nails with the um, gel polish like the top coat that I use. I just do it anyway because that's what I'm used to doing, but... Now I'm going in with a different drill bit. This one actually is from Amazon and I believe it's by the brand Pana, Pana, I'm not sure. Um, it's P-A-N-A, -A, I believe. And this is their fine drill bit. I actually got this because it was recommended from Krillix. Um, If you guys don't know who she is, she's a nail tech base in, I believe, North Carolina. But I'm going in and I'm using that drill bit just to seal my cuticles. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just just going in and cleaning up everything with some alcohol like I told y'all I did kind of nip myself while I was using the e-file once before so the alcohol will just clean all of that out just it's like an extra safety precaution for me so yeah y'all um that's pretty much it with the actual nails like the application and everything now um we're just doing the finishing touches so I'm going in with my gel top coat this top coat is from IBD. I believe it is their Intense Seal UV Gel Top Coat. Um, they do have this on Amazon, but I get mine from my nail supply store. Um, it's just cheaper at my nail supply store. Now I'm going in and just putting them under the light after they come out from the UV light. I'm going back in with that top coat, and I'm just going to apply that to the bottom of my nails. The reason that I apply it to the bottom of my nails is because I am using clear tips, so for or any like marble or any ombre with clear or like my glitter nails and stuff you can still see through those like because the tip itself is clear so when you apply that layer to the bottom it just makes your nail like shine all the way through so that's why I do that but yeah y'all that's pretty much it um for this video like I told y'all it's not a tutorial so please don't come for me in the comments I'm not perfect just yet and I also have not done nail school or nothing I've only been doing nails for two weeks when I did this video and honestly it wasn't even two weeks when I did this video it was like a week so don't come for me y'all I'm still learning um but yeah that's pretty much it I guess I'll just come back and show you guys like a couple of nail fees just so y'all can see what the nails really look like but that's all that I have to say for this video I love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications and I will see you guys in my next video enjoy the rest of this one Oh, 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 o